Kom við sæl, krakkanir mínir, börnin mín Þið eru að horfa á Kerrang hlaðvartið Hérna á Íslandi þar sem er 20. frost úti Við erum hljónustir mínus Og elskum alla og allt Ást og friður Og vonandi sjáu ykkur sem allra fyrst á þessu yndislega dásamlega nýja ári Ekki? Takk Hello Kerrang Podcast viewers and uh, a big thank you to everyone who's watched the clips on YouTube 45,000 times well 44,000 times and uh, a big thank you to my mum who spent all last Thursday clicking refresh so coming up on this week's podcast we've got In Flames we've got Minus and we've got Aussie Rockers Airborne get out new album A Sense of Purpose will be out on April 1st yep. uh, on Nuclear Blast. Could you tell us about the uh, the recording process and uh, the sort of vibe of the album? I think it took about two and a half months mm -hmm. from from pre-production until the album was finished, mixed and done. Uh, we took t two weeks of pre-production mm -hmm. right before for the actual recording started where we uh, you know we had uh, everything on basically a drum machine and guitars in the beginning and then we uh, we just threw everything around tried you know oh here's a good verse let's try this as a chorus or has a good chorus maybe we should have this as a middle section or whatever we just tried everything and basic arrangements yeah, really yeah. i mean there was a lot of stuff that could be done with the riffs that the way they were but as you said i mean me and jesper started out doing it and it gets really one-sided right and then all of a sudden all five of us are in there and throwing things together it really made a big difference plus we actually wrote a whole song yeah we wrote a whole song so that's, that's true that's a bonus as well but uh, when we were done with all the drum machine stuff then we recorded it with real drums to see if the songs work you know that's important to us uh, we want the, everything to be able we should be able to p perform everything live uh, so when that was done we all were happy then we scratched everything and started from mm. the beginning again does it make things easier recording in your own home studio or do you find that you relax a bit more sometimes? I always thought before that we would be more relaxed away uh, away yeah, from all the focus uh, all from yeah, yeah. away from all the distractions but this time around uh, it was it was really relaxing to be home so um, well, it's got its ups and downs like everything else yeah. but this way you can choose. I mean, you can still be in the studio all night if you need to. Yeah. Um, in our studio as well, we can decide who will, who should enter the studio, <laughs> yeah. and not. So, you know, if we want to be alone, then and we just, you know, close the door <laughs> basically. Yeah. So, yeah, it was it was definitely a good time. Um, your bassist Peter uh, broke his leg just before the Moscow show. Yeah, I don't know what he did with it. Did something wrong with it? Yeah. But, uh, he dislocated his knee. I would say. I mean, he he's. Uh, God, he's swollen like a balloon. Right. He's a he's a tall guy and fucked up balance and he just slipped on the red square. It was uh, he has the worst shoes. It's like Dr. Martin's with really bad um, what do you call it sole? Yeah. Is that what you say? Yeah. Right. yeah. Uh, was, I was just that particular spot was like we passed it a minute before it and I said, like, oh geez, here this is real slippery and we just turned around right in time to see, see Peter him. come. Yeah. Did you get it on video? I think we got parts of it on video. Because it's a uh, British TV show, you can send clips in and win uh, money. So. Oh, right. Win money? Yeah. I, I, don't, I don't think that particular thing will win any money. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> no, but it looked really funny in the beginning because it took him like a good 30 seconds to fall or something. It was like, uh, really slow. <laughs> but then you saw first his face, he was smiling, and then you saw it was all pale. Right. So he was in real pain. So it wasn't as yeah. fun anymore. So how can we manage to play the show? A lot of painkillers. Yeah, uh, and painkillers. Yeah, yeah, I guess. We uh, no, he went to the hospital actually and emptied his his uh, knee out of like sixty milliliters of blood or something like. Yeah. Oh, wow. yeah so and then he uh, he got painkillers and some vodka, I believe, <laughs> and then he he could play sitting down. Uh, I mean, we didn't want to disappoint the the fans while we were there. Yeah, we would have managed without uh, the bass, but it was really cool that he he pulled it through. Yeah. Um, so you won two awards at the Bandit Awards in uh, yeah. Stockholm last week. Um, did you get dressed up for the occasion? I was the only one who was there, and I I, yeah, I, got, I got text messages. 
Oh, here we go, pick up the first prize. I was like, oh, wow, that's great. Which one? <laughs> Ten minutes later, both. I was like, what? <laughs> so I was really surprised. I wasn't even there. So. All right. It was a very laid back yeah. show anyway. It's like a local radio station in, in the Stockholm area. Plus you can check it on the web as well. But uh, they're just starting it, basically. I think it's the first year yeah. they had it. Have it so. Well, congratulations for that. Oh, <laughs> Uh, finally, you shot a video for The Mirror's Truth, and uh, from what I've seen from the uh, pictures on MySpace, uh, it's full of uh, weird faces and uh, big babies. Um, oh, sorry, who was taking there. drugs when the concept came up for that? <laughs> I would say it's the popcorn guys yeah. the, uh, who Definitely. shot it. They, they were taking all kinds of drugs, <laughs> and don't ask me which ones. So <laughs> Everything at the same shoot? time. Well, yeah, it was a good time. It was shooting. interesting and cold. Yeah, yeah but it was cold. it was a really cool location with everything you see there is for real. Right. I mean, it's nothing. I mean, it's not like it's a, a sci-fi video or anything. But it's it's really cool location. And uh, but it was freezing. It was snowing in, snowing on us while we were playing and stuff. Luckily, we didn't have to do that for very long. But you yeah. know, but it was cool. Did you get friends to dress up as the babies? No, no, no. they they took care of all that. It was up in North Sweden, so we yeah. didn't really know anybody up there, but. Well, I think we actually have the the baby heads. Yeah, I think we got now. some of them. Yeah. So we we will give them away, or we will use them. Let's play live. Them. Our, <laughs> our crew got to dress. Yeah, yeah. Dress up in Even them. Even better. And yeah. <laughs> That's cool. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Well, uh, and as Bjorn, thank you very much for your time and good luck with the album. Thank you. Thank you. Karang presents learning Swedish within flames. Did you spill my kind of beer? Here we go, number one. Spill the mineral. My neck is sore from headbanging. Hello, IKEA. Where are my instructions? <laughs> hey, IKEA. Um, that was learning Swedish within flames. Thank you, Bjorn and Anders, for that. Uh, the Gateshead branch of IKEA are going to love you next week. So, coming up in part two, uh, we're going to go to Reykjavik and freeze our bollocks off and talk to Minus and Katie P. We'll be talking to the lovable guys in Airborne. Oh, yeah! They're not Welsh, they're Australian.